I always have to ask these questions, even though it, I know it's boring. But we hear right. a lot of rumblings like, oh, Denise Richards is coming back to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh, she's in talks. Or would she, what is the deal? Are you, would you consider doing that? Uh, I definitely would consider it. They haven't approached me, though. Um, there's, I would feel like for you in the past, there were hurdles, right? So there was Lisa Rinna and you had a falling out with Lisa. But since then, you guys have uh, tried to patch things up, right? I wouldn't say uh, that. Okay. Okay. Cor- a couple cordial texts. Okay, so she would not, even though she, because we just heard that she's leaving Real right. Housewives of Beverly Hills. That that would have never prevented you from coming back if Lisa was there, correct? Correct. And now there's a situation of there's all this, uh, you know. Wait, can I ask you? Do, yeah, do you me. think she quit or was she fired? I don't think anyone knows. Okay, this is what I have witnessed in, you know, you've been in the business way longer than me. I think, unfortunately, sometimes... Um, people's teams, managers, agents, attorneys, oh. get very, very aggressive. I think they alienate the um, the networks, the you know, the production companies, what have you. I think it was about money. I think it was probably about money. Well, yes, but also, if, if it was, but don't you think Lisa's pretty? She's got a strong enough personality to. I would hope that say don't fuck up this deal. I would, yes, I would think so. So maybe it was, she was behind it too. Like I deserve this and I'm not working for any less than this. And you've got it when you have, I'm totally speculating here, but when you give someone an ultimatum like that, you have to be prepared to walk, to to walk, walk. away. And you know, e- even when I was in my renegotiation, you know, I was like, well, I do have the TV. I do have my design right. business. Like if this goes South, I'm not going to starve. Right. Right. But you've got to be prepared. Like if it's all you got, you got to be real, real careful playing that game. Absolutely. And I think, I think that in the past there have been housewives that play that game and still do because what, from what I hear is that, and I'm not going to mention any names, but, you know, I'm friends with Andy, and he's like, we try to get her back. We try to get her back. We try to get her back. They want too much money. Right. Which is, is so short-sighted considering the platform mm-hmm. yeah. that, you know, no, it's true. there's so many other ways to make money absolutely using the platform i think though for lisa it was probably and who knows maybe one day she will be back but i think at at this time at the moment it was probably a good decision to she needs a break yeah to take a break i think she's one of the all-time in my opinion best housewives i i would love i don't like how she handled your situation but either and and some of the other situations Mm -hmm. on the show but um you know, a lot of people loved her, which is why she was on there for so many different, you know, quite a few years, actually. It's going to be interesting to to see what happens with Brandy, because now this controversy over the ultimate girls trip, because I had heard rumblings that maybe she was going to come back to Real House, Housewives anymore. of Beverly Hills. But I can't imagine that now, no. you know, based on what we've been reading at the Morocco trip. Yeah. So like that disaster. wouldn't she would not be in your way either, because well, that would I, scare me too. somebody that. Was can so be reckless, reckless with their yeah. words and say a lot of defamatory things, you know, that, you know, could do a lot of damage. People. Yeah, I, I think that also, you know, it depends, too, on, in my opinion, I think that the show should take a shift in what's going on, yeah. you know? That's uh, my diplomatic way of saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Shake up the cast. It's so funny, with Beverly Hills, I don't think they need the New Jersey kind of drama because it's not really why we're watching Beverly Hills. I think so too. I don't think you have to play dirty. I I think that it's okay to see women get along and have fun because a lot of women, mostly women, and then sometimes it's their, you know, a lot of men do watch it too, but it's, it's also an escape. So yes. it's nice to see, you know, the vacations the and lifestyle. Aspirational. Yeah, and like girlfriends getting together and mm-hmm. having dinners and drinks and it's okay to like have, you know, your kids being taken care of and take time out for yourself. So that's the thing that I always liked and that's fun to watch too is it's okay to show a group of women having fun. Yes. It doesn't always have to be tearing each other apart and shitting all over each other. Like it's not not literally, but you know what I'm yes. saying. But you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't always... That's sorry. a different OnlyFans. Yes, that's a different one. But um, it doesn't do always that, have to be... I could. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh, I'm getting okay. myself in trouble. But you know what I'm saying? Right. I think it yeah. can be so entertaining. So you wouldn't be opposed to going back? I wouldn't be opposed. Absolutely yeah. not. Um, I well, enjoyed it, actually. I had fun on the show. 
I mean, the trips look great. Yeah, the dinners. Yeah. I miss Lisa Vanderpump. I, I, do. Like, I do. I do too. I like to have her come she back. She was so great on yeah. the show. She was. And her life is very fascinating. It is. And she's Just very her entertaining. House. Yeah. And, um, but they did her a little, you know, some of the people on there did her a little dirty too. So yeah. I think you get to a point sometimes you're like, mm. 